Now the latest from a North Providence nursing home. Very critical, dangerous situation here. Dozens of residents have tested positive for the virus. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon True joining us live from outside that facility this morning with more. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Well, the Department of Health tells us there are 55 confirmed coronavirus cases here at this one nursing home. So far, that equates to about half of its residents. Again, we know that four of them have died with this virus. Just yesterday, the Department of Health telling us about the two most recent deaths from here, a woman in her 80s, the other in her 90s. The CDC has continued to warn that the elderly are most vulnerable to the virus. Governor Gina Raimondo placed visitation restrictions on nursing homes weeks ago, but to give you some perspective, on Monday there were 15 confirmed cases in nursing homes statewide. That number is now up to 120. We spoke with a woman who has a family member here. Pamela Gomes says her sister has tested negative, but she's still worried. And I think that's what I'm feeling is that I am totally powerless over what happens. I was grateful that she wasn't positive, but she's in a place where that can happen at any time. We've been working to get some more answers. The Department of Health spokesman telling us that it's not a matter of personal protective equipment or anything that the Golden Crest didn't do fast enough. The issue is that older adults are extremely vulnerable to the complications of COVID-19. Right now, it's unclear exactly how that virus made its way into Golden Crest. We have been reaching out to the administration to get some more insight. So far, we have not heard back. Live in North Providence, Brandon True at Eyewitness News.